which leads into my thumbs up, which is Will Washington, podcaster, overall good dude. Uh, he joins All Elite in creative. I I was originally I originally heard, you know, specifically like someone to help with continuity in addition to like multiple other things that he's going to help out with. And, uh, you know, I don't think I don't think everybody knows who who will is. But those of you who listen to this show, uh, you're you're somewhat in the wrestling podcast ecosystem. And you would have heard uh, Will's Grap City podcast with uh, Phil and uh, and Righteous Reg. And that podcast was, you know. I don't know if groundbreaking is the right word, but. You know, when it comes to wrestling podcasts and this ecosystem, again, it's really white male dominated, just like the wrestling business is white male dominated. And now uh, that which is why I really liked Grapsity. Uh myself, I am a person of, of, of color as, as well. And so I like I feel like me doing this show on this website is representative for you know people who look like me uh but i i can't overstate how fantastic this hire is now it's not because i know of will's credentials as a wrestling mind like he's just he's been doing stuff like this for 20 years on the podcast and since he was like a teenager he is uh somebody who i know that tony khan uh, trusts him. Uh, uh, I know that they had a a, a strong relationship, um, but also he is a little bit on the younger end, right? Like he's younger than uh, than both of us by, gosh, he's probably younger than me by like eleven or twelve years, and that is meaningful as well. Not only do you have person of color helping, uh, but he's also somebody who's relating to the talent because he is closer to their age. He, uh, so, some may know this may not know, but I had will on, uh, on this show, uh, talking about the, the album that they put together, uh, for AEW with the, with the soundtracks, uh, uh, with the hip hop stuff. And will was a part of that. He had like, he had, I, f I forgot how many songs that he had on that. So you're talking about a guy who relates to younger people and his, his, he's related to Swerve, like they're cousins, I believe. Mm. So he's close to the business. He he's uh, smart about things. He knows what he's talking about. And I'm so hopeful that this pays off for Tony Khan, you know, 10x because. And this is this is not only wrestling, this is every single kind of company uh you know, Jeff Jarrett. I'm only using Jeff Jarrett because that's the thing that popped into my head. And Dave and I got to talk to Jeff about this, which is when Tony hired Jeff Jarrett, I don't think a single person was surprised because the wrestling industry recycles people in wrestling. If you worked for WWE, you have a fantastic chance of working for AEW if there is a position uh, that that is yours, right? Like, the ha having the know-how of what WWE does is beneficial to AEW. This is outside of that because Will didn't work for WWE. Will didn't work for a company in wrestling. He didn't work for Impact. He is more like you and I from the perspective of what we do, how we watch wrestling. And he's being given a shot to grow into a position. And if he does well, He's going to have connections of people more like him, which is going to be great for that company. And you're not, you're not and, and there's nothing wrong with recycling old wrestling uh, people for positions. Like they're there, they have experience for a reason, and all of that stuff is good. But to take a chance on somebody who may not fit that, I really commend Tony for doing it. And I hope, I'm crossing my fingers that Will just kills it he hits it out of the park because you know he he's gonna have contact and people 
who kind of do what he does, right? And thinks like he does. And I think that that's going to be beneficial to the wrestling business because then you can expand outward with talent and you don't only have to bring in the same people over and over and over and over. So I'm rooting for Will. I think Will's a really good dude. Uh, I've been a fan of his for a little while. I've interviewed him uh, at least two or three different times. So big shout outs to, to Will Washington. He is my thumbs up for this week. What's his, uh, is he, I, I thought it was mostly digital. I saw on the description of his, uh, job title. Was he helping with the digital marketing and is he going to do, is he doing booking like that kind of stuff? He's helping with creative or the, the piece of creative that I heard now, this did not come from his mouth. So mm. it, it may be not wrong, but I was told, or I'd heard that it had something involving helping with continuity uh, and making sure that, you know, if we see uh, uh, Sammy Guevara and Tay on Dynamite one week and they're starting something mm -hmm. that it's it's, you know, it's made sure that they're going to finish, you know, that or they're going to go to the next thing and they're not just going to be forgotten for three weeks. And then people are going to go, mm -hmm. what's going on with that? That that's what I was told. But that is not coming from Will's mouth because I have not talked to him about that. So, well, yeah, Tony needs someone to kind of like look outside what he's doing and kind of point out like, hey, you never really clear this up or this is, you know, where is Swerve, by the way? <laughs> you know, like this is the last <laughs> time we saw him and uh, he last time we saw him, we hit uh, he hit uh, Keith Lee with the boom box and we haven't seen him since. So. <laughs> Yeah, that kind of stuff uh, would be good. So, yeah, that's good. Um, Booking-wise, I mean, it is different, though. I don't know how it is now with a lot of these guys, but, you know, talking to wrestlers is is a whole art in itself. You know, communicating with wrestlers what you want them to do is, like, Tony signs a paycheck, so they have to listen to him, right? But whether there's someone that's not – Never book, never, you know what I mean? Like, it's hard to, it's hard to get them to, I mean, it's how it used to be, but I don't know how it is now. I mean, well, guess who's never booked, and I'm sure this is part of why Will's getting this chance, Tony Khan, right? <laughs> no, I'm saying, but he's also the guy with the money. That's a, no, 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 that's no, but, thing. That, yeah. but that's why I'm saying he may be open to this because mm -hmm. he doesn't come from this old guard, right? Mm -hmm. He created his own company and he created his own process so he may be way more open to someone from the outside helping with a different perspective than like you know your old boys net network mm -hmm. of, of wwe but so that's why i think it's positive and yeah uh, i hope and, it's i hope it's nothing but success and whatever's going to help make the show better you know 